I'm not going to lie, this is brutal. The heat is just unrelenting. I'm sweating like mad. My clothes are absolutely drenched through sweat. Going through my water like no one's business. I just need to keep telling myself there's plenty of rest and I'll get there. I don't need to get to the other side of Cader Idris till later anyway. It doesn't start getting dark until around about half past seven. And I'm sure I'll be far and away beyond there and have somewhere to pitch by then, but this is brutal. Well, it's another hazy start this morning. Uh, it's just gone half past six. Uh, most uncomfortable night's sleep. No wind at all. The wind, wind just completely went. Um, I wouldn't have needed to put the outer on. And as a consequence, just like an oven in there. Really uncomfortable. But we're up now and we're going to pack away, uh, air some stuff off, make my way into Dolga Fly get some breakfast. I think that's the way to go. Oh, hope you didn't think I was going to leave without having a brew. And I'll just show you where I was last night. There you go. Just flattened grass. Leave no trace. Although I think I was joined by a sheep in the night because there's some further flattened grass just over there with some sheep tods in it. So um, I think I might have had a visitor but I must have been well out of it. Anyway. It's five to nine. And the descent from there is quite brutal really. A lot of wet grass, stones, some real ankle turners. And you've got to have your head on to make sure you're on the right path. So a little bit slow going to be honest. And, really boggy in places but I've reached this track now and this will take me all the way into Dolgethley probably about a mile and three quarters something like that but it's easy walking and I should be able to make up some time and I've got some decisions to make I've got to end the walk tomorrow anyway because I need to be back home and then I'm back at work on Sunday morning so my choices are carry on as I planned do the high level route, camp out and finish in the morning with a few miles into Trosfinid. But the weather is so hot. Yesterday was such a battle that I don't think I'll do that. I think I'm going to opt for the low level route. It's slightly shorter. There's half as much ascent and it's likely to be a little bit cooler when I pass through the forest. So I think I'll switch to the low level route. Now the question is, I get back to my car, I'm going to get a change of clothes and freshen up because even now I'm just wet all the way through. And then I either time it right with a bus to Trosfinid and walk back. Uh, in that way, I don't have to worry about waiting for a, a bus when I finish. Or I just walk through and then wait for a bus at the end. So um, I think I'll probably try and get it so I can do it in reverse and I'm in no rush to get back and then what I'll do is I'll have a slow drive home and I won't wild camp tonight and I don't have to take all my wild camping stuff with me I can really pare the pack down to the bare essentials for today and just make quicker progress because as lovely as it is it's absolutely horrendous in this heat but it's not even nine o'clock So, I've just left Trusfinid and I'm walking all the way back to Dolgethly. I'm doing the low level route, given the weather today, so, so hot and draining. I think it was the sensible option. And I only had to wait about 10 minutes for a bus. And I just know that all I've got to do, is got five or six hours worth of walking ahead of me, just get back to my car and I can start making my way home. But I got to the village this morning Got a change of clothes, got a wash down, got some food, feel 100% better 
and I'm really comfortable mixing and matching the route. And that's the beauty of the Snowdonia way. There's both a high level and a low level alternative. And I've got enough experience to decide what's right for me and to make the trail my own. So I'm walking it back in the opposite direction and you can probably hear the road noise of the A470 beside me as we parallel that. We're gonna branch away from that. So I'm gonna get my head down. I'm gonna get out a few miles. Probably stop in an hour or so for some lunch. Just take it easy, but yeah, really, really enjoying being out. So how good is that? Got a view of the Rinog Mountains there. We're following the course of the old Roman road and not a soul about, not a soul about. I haven't really seen anyone since I left Trusfinid. Absolutely cracking. So we're just about to enter some woodland and with any luck this will provide a bit of shade, a bit of respite from the sun and the humidity and just make for some more pleasant walking. Well, this is beautiful. It's a real contrast. Got the moorland into the woodland. You've got the mountain views. You've got the best of everything, really. So I found this shady spot just by the river and I'm going to have my sandwich and take five minutes. I managed to find my walking legs today. I've been getting a good few miles under the belt without really thinking about it, but I think this will be my last stop now before I get back to Dolgathley. So if you've enjoyed the video, leave a thumbs up. Let me know what you think. Let me know if this is something you've done before or something you're planning to do. And if you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification button, you get a heads up every time I upload a new video. Anyway. So I've got about an hour left and don't underestimate the terrain because it is quite undulating but it's brought me out on this glorious heather terrace above the valley. Views are spectacular and I don't know whether you can see or not but you've got the profile of Cadaridris in the background still very hazy but nonetheless that's where I was yesterday but this is glorious walking what a lovely end to the walk. I'm going to focus on the task in hand now and I'll see you back in Dolgathlai. So I'm nearly back in the town now and I've had three great days even if the weather has made it slightly torturous but plan is to come back over the next few weeks and just crack up a few more stages. There's some mountains I want to do in particular connect 
don't want to miss out on that. So I'll be looking up for weather windows and just seeing what uh, the autumn will bring. Right, I'll leave it there and I'll see you next time.